Hello friends and welcome to a update video. We've got some big news. It's, re it's here. It's here. It's here. Pokemon Home has arrived. So last night, I guess when I was sleeping and probably a lot of you were as well, and Pokemon Home was uh, released. So it's, it's ready for us to grab now. It comes in two parts. So there is one part for the Nintendo Switch. I've already got it downloaded, but if you haven't downloaded it yet and you want to know how to grab it, you just come to the eShop and just you can just search for it if it's not on the home screen because I'm guessing it's probably going to be on the home screen here. So we'll discover not here, but just search it. There you go. You can see. So you just you just grab it, download it. As I say, it is free. Um, and once you've got it here. You can come into it the other part is obviously on your mobile so whether you're using an apple or an android phone it will be obviously respectively that download that you'll need uh here's the one for the the apple store so i will link that and the google play links down in the description below if you're having a bit of trouble finding it i know i did earlier this morning when i got up for work at half five and i realized pokemon home had been released and then i sat furiously before starting work before i had to leave trying to download it all and then uh, figuring it out and playing around with it throughout my breaks and um, throughout the day so i'm back home now i thought i'd do a video on this because i'm actually setting up my pokemon bank account now and i'm going to show you how to trade across pokemon from bank from uh, an old generation to the new one so uh, once you come into this screen you'll go through a little bit of a phase with um, Grand Oak, I believe, and uh, you'll get given a gift Pokemon when you come into the mobile app. Um, and it's a pity I haven't really got it up on the screen right now, but you can see this is the landing screen on the Switch. You've got a few options here. You've got your Pokemon uh, number deposited, then the Pokedex number of registered Pokemon. You've got uh, your notebook, which records everything that you kind of do in pokemon home uh here's the move option your points that you receive and then your options and things like that so i'll just click over to options here um you can see i'm on the premium plan like the the, the starting plan that you get initially is going to be your basic plan where you get one box and you can put up to 30 pokemon in there uh, if you upgrade to the premium plan you get up I, I don't know how many boxes but you can fit like 6,000 pokemon into pokemon home which is crazy I don't have 6,000 Pokemon. I unfortunately lost my Pokemon bank account, my original one with all my Pokemon from forever. Because I've been playing forever and it's very sad that I'll never be able to get this Pokemon back again. But, not to dwell on those things. Um, the other thing to note is the mobile app is where it gets really spicy. So you've got a lot more options in there. You're going to be able to actually trade pokemon in pokemon home which is really nice so there's the gts there as well if you want to trade pokemon just randomly from the boxes that you've got in pokemon home and there's also a wonder is it wonder trader or i think it's wonder trade where you can if you've got a premium account you can put up to 10 pokemon in there at once uh you can add friends to your pokemon home account on the mobile trade with them so there's lots of things going on and lots of missions to do certain pokemon that you trade in you get points for stickers for it's really cool uh you can do a lot with it so basically like i said at the start of the video here we are i've got my i wish i had my capture card ds but i haven't i needed to restart um i got a new 3ds Recent, kind of recently so this is where i'm doing my pokemon bank stuff from and now pokemon bank is on the 3ds you do need it uh, to get your old pokemon from previous generations sun moon uh xy the list goes on or us and all that um it's free at the minute it was a paid service it is free at the minute so you can actually go on there and you can utilize it and then trade the pokemon over if you haven't already got an account so what i'm going to do is use pokemon bank i'm going to use my ultra moon because that's where all my main pokemon are that i want to be trading over i've kind of sorted them out got all my breeding pokemon that i've used from the like the last two generations prior to sword and shield and a few pokemon that we've now got access to with their hidden abilities like meow stick um 
and Clefairy, namely are the two that I really would like to get. So they're all sorted in my boxes, amongst a few other things like um, Snorlax, Eevee, and things like that that I would like to, to breed going forward. So um, we'll take the battle points here. I'm sorry you can't really see this screen, but I'm just going through it. So I'm just going to try and just mass pop. I've got this, I've got the whole box here ready to, to go so I can, um, I'm just going to pull them all into Pokemon Bank and once they're there, hopefully I'm going to start the trade over. And this is like, I can understand this is not very fun for you guys <laughs> right now, but we'll be done in like two seconds. So saving the data, I've got a box of Pokemon ready to bring over. Um, and we'll see if we can start the move right now. So this is going to be, for all of you that are planning on using Pokemon Bank, hopefully this is kind of like a little update video on Pokemon Home and also showing you how to, to move the Pokemon from Bank to Home and get them on your Switch. Um, there is, obviously, you are connected at the minute from Pokemon Home. You can connect Sword and Shield. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee and Everything from Pokemon Bank, obviously, that's accessible there. You can't put Pokemon back, though. Once you put them into Pokemon Home from Bank, then you can't put them back, obviously. Uh, same goes for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Uh, there is about 35 exclusive Pokemon in those two games that you'll be able to trade over to Pokemon Sword and Shield. That list can be found on Cerebi. I'll link it down below, and you'll be able to go through that. And Pokemon Go will, I believe, link up with all this, but it isn't linkable at the minute so we're waiting on that as i make lots of noise so i'm gonna go into my pokemon go and we're gonna begin the move now the issue i've got here is my account on my 3ds i couldn't log in with my nintendo account on there for some reason it just wouldn't let me log in so we've got two different accounts and i'm hoping that we can still do this so uh do you want to begin the move for the preparations yes so here we go select the box in the move pokemon on your pokemon home option in the pokemon bank for nintendo 3ds systems then proceed to the screen where you can enter the moving key okay so we want to go to move pokemon to pokemon home okay well, we're doing that ready ready moving keys are only valid for three minutes enter e enter the key into pokemon bank as soon as you can once a moving key is active you won't be able to go back until it expires so yeah we, we want to display the the key here we go the pressure's getting to me i feel like i'm not going to do it in time but we've got plenty of time just whew, relax it's all right <laughs> i don't know why i'm getting so agitated by this it's not even a big deal. We've got two minutes left. It's fine. Okay, so the moving key has been confirmed successfully. Uh, sit tight and uh, everything will be moved over. So uh, you'll be able, unable to use Pokemon Home until the move is complete, which is great. So it's taking us to our title screen. Um, and on my DS, it currently says, all right, time you get your Pokemon all moved into their new home in, well, Pokemon Home. It might take a little time to finish, so sit tight. So I'm guessing it is connecting now. It is disconnecting from the internet. And I'm just going to go back into my Pokemon Home now. Let's see if it's done it. Move is currently in progress. You aren't able to use Pokemon. Pokemon Home. Please log in after some time has passed. Okay, so it's going to just be doing this now, um, which is which is fine. But it looks like everything has went pretty successfully, and I can confirm that you don't need the same account on your 3DS if you're having the same issues as me, as you you've got on your Nintendo Switch. So because of the trade key, it it takes any conflict out there, so you can trade Pokemon quite quite easily over to Pokemon Home, um, which means now I can go through all of my X and Y, my Aorus, and all my back catalog of carts, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be great to get all these old nostalgic Pokemon back into my home. Um, okay, so it looks like it's done. How would you like to move them in the boxes, Pokemon Home, all boxes as they are? And do you wanna save your progress? Yes, and then hopefully, we can see these Pokemon. Let's have a look. Pokemon. Because they'll be in Pokemon Home. They should be. 
And I've just got a bunch of sword and shield stuff in here at the minute. So these are the little gift Pokemon that I've received today. So I've received a Bulbasaur, a Pikachu, a Pichu, an Eevee, and a Rotom. So the Eevee, Pichu, and Rotom are Pokemon that I've received from doing little achievements in Pokemon Home, like sending certain Pokemon amounts of Pokemon to the game. Here we go. There they are, everything that I've traded across, so that's perfect. There's all the details that I need for breeding with, that I've managed to get eventually into Sword and Shield now. Meow Stick and the other things that I would like to start breeding with in Sword and Shield, so that's amazing. They are there. Um, and can can just confirm everything that we've done there. So I hope you found this guide useful, my friends. Uh, and I hope you're excited to get going with Pokemon Home. Um, it's been a bit all over the place, this guide. But I thought I'd like to put something up about Pokemon Home. And uh, just to show you that you can trade across from Pokemon Bank pretty easily. And literally, that was my first time doing it. So there's nothing to it. There's just the, the, the key that you get from doing it when you're syncing up. And um, it's pretty straightforward from there and you can bring in anything from past generations. So have fun with that. Uh, take advantage of Pokemon Bank because I, as I was reading it, it's a free trial for 29 days. So I guess that's the time period you've got to run with to get all of this done. So I'm going to end it there. We'll be back soon with more updates. If we get any more news on Pokemon Home or events or gifts or anything that's happening within it, I will surely cover it on the channel thanks for tuning in thanks for all your support hope you've enjoyed the video have a great evening and i'll see you all again for another one very soon so until then take care and bye bye